All right, this video is about a little tip that has changed the way that I work a lot of the time and hopefully will help you a bit too. Basically, it's applying levels to a mask and it works particularly well for things like uh, distress textures or if you're applying brushes to an element. So I'm gonna go over that quick. Um, as you can see here, this main element is on its own layer uh, with a transparent background. I'll throw a background in there just so you can see what's going on a bit better. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the layer you wanna put a brush on. In this case, I'm using a brush, but if you're using like a texture, uh, something like that, it works just as well. So the first thing, uh, apply a mask, and it's just this little icon down here, a rectangle with a circle in it, and that'll quickly apply a mask there. And as you can see, it's applied it. And make sure you have it selected and not the layer selected when you uh, start applying things. And if you're using like a, a flat texture or something, once you pull it, just apply that texture as a mask. But once again, I'm using a brush. So I'm gonna quickly go over this with a brush. Um, just do it really quick, easy get that texture on there. Um, I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit here and actually invert the mask. And to invert the mask, as a quick tip, just select the mask, hit Control-I, or if you're on a Mac, it's uh, Command-I, and that'll invert it. And it'll be a bit easier for what I'm trying to show you here. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do is bring up levels while keeping that mask selected. So to bring up levels, hit Control-L on a PC or Command-L on a Mac. And what that's gonna do is bring up the levels command and you can use this to start tweaking the actual mask itself and it's going to add a ton of control to what you're doing. So as a quick reference point, this arrow down here is uh, shadows, up here is highlights, and this is kind of the mid-tone contrast one here in the center here. And this is the histogram of kind of where the levels currently fall. And I almost always do the exact same thing when I'm doing this, and that's bring the middle uh, contrast one here, some, I think it's called gamma too, but I just bring that to the right which darkens it a little bit. And then I really tweak uh, the far right one here for the highlights and just bring it way back. And then I keep pushing them together until I get a texture that's a lot closer with what I'm trying to achieve. In this case, it's a lot more aggressive. Um, they're a bit too much overlap here. They're stuck. There we go. You know, just play around. Um, I almost never use the background one here, or I should say, uh, the shadows layer here, but if I really zoom in, you can kind of see the shadows. If you pull that more towards white, you start to lose a little bit. And depending on what you're trying to achieve, you know, just play around until you get there. And I'll just flip the preview on and off quick so you can see how vast of a difference this makes. Um, and basically for me, it allows me to really tweak a given, like if a brush doesn't have quite the look I'm looking for, or a texture is a bit too soft or a bit too heavy, um, you can just bring up levels on the mask there and quickly adjust it to suit your needs. And I'll just turn it off completely. And that's the nice thing about mask too, is it, it doesn't destroy your work, plus you can edit them. Uh, so use mask whenever you can. It's always a plus for me. And if you send a workout to someone else and it's on a mask, it just saves time in that if I had to rebuild this for some reason and all this was gone, I'd have to trace over everything and it would be a pain. Whereas this, I could just turn off the mask and you can do that shift clicking and just turn it off and on. Or you know you can right-click it, delete it, apply it, whatever. Let's just select another brush here so you can see it again. Try to pick a brush that'll hopefully work well. I have no idea what some of these will look like. Mm. Try this guy. So as you can see right now, it looks pretty soft. And once again, Control L or Command L to bring up levels, and then just start tweaking. And I almost always begin with pulling the middle here to the right a little bit and pull in the highlights one on the far right a bit to the left and it starts to sharpen up looks a bit more like the textures you might be used to seeing you know tweak it to the point where you want to get it you know you can bring that shadows layer up here so it's a bit more stark there you go super cool trick uh, it's totally changed the way that I personally work and hopefully it'll help you too so if this is helpful to you just hit the like button and uh, thank you